Hello and welcome to Phuket Pulse GED Express Screencast with me, Teacher Markey. Today's lesson focuses on GED science, specifically chemistry, and this would be part 5 of my discussion for chemistry. Our topic for today is all about suspension and collides. Now, at the end of the discussion, every one of you is expected to identify, compare, and cite examples of suspensions and collides. Now, where are some sunsets red? Have you ever asked this to yourself? So the explanation for that would be this. The atmosphere contains particles of water and dust. And as the sunlight passes through the particles, it is scattered. So not all wavelengths are scattered to the same extent. And that resulted to that kind of color for sunset. Now... A suspension is the difference be or should I ask what is the difference between a suspension and a solution so technically a suspension is a mixture from which particles settle out upon standing so a suspension differs from a solution because the particles of a suspension are much larger and do not stay suspended indefinitely so let's define it more the, par the particles in a typical suspension have an average diameter greater than a thousand nanometer so by contrast the particle size in a solution is about one nanometer so a solution is considered as a homogeneous mixture and a suspension is known as a heterogeneous mixture because at least two substances can be clearly identified by using your naked eye. So the difference between a solution and a suspension is easily seen when the type of mixture is filtered. For example, you have the picture on your left. The small size of the solute particles in a solution allows them to pass through filter paper. But on the other hand, the one on your right, the particles of a suspension can be removed by filtration. So that makes a difference. So what distinguishes a colloid from a suspension and a solution? So a colloid is a heterogeneous mixture containing particles that range in size from one nanometer to a thousand nanometer and the particles are spread or dispersed throughout the dispersion medium, which can be a solid, liquid, or gas. So technically, the first substances to be identified as colloids were glues. And for example, you have there this one. On a colloid, there is a dispersed space and a dispersion medium. So if um, a, a gas dispersed in liquid, that is a foam and an example of that would be a whipped cream for example a gas dispersed in solid that is still considered as a foam and the example for that would be a marshmallow a liquid dispersed in liquid is an example of an emulsion which is a type of a colloid example would be milk or may mayonnaise liquid dispersed in gas is known as aerosol so it could be a fog or an aerosol spray. So solid dispersing gas could be a smoke. Example is that in air. Solid dispersing liquid, you have salts or gels. Example would be egg white, jelly paint, blood, starch in water, and gelatin. Collates of particles smaller than those in suspensions and larger than those in solutions. So these intermediate sized particles cannot be retained by filter papers like what you have seen a while ago for solutions and suspensions because they are larger particle larger particles and they do not settle out with time. Now we have here the, the concept of Tyndall effects. A Tyndall effect is basically the one that you can see a beam of sunlight unless the light passes through particles of water such as mist or dust in the air and these particles scatter the sunlight similarly a beam of light which is visible as it passes through a colloid for example you have there a 
flashlight if we have the a container where solution is present and a color is present and the suspension is present so a solution doesn't allow light to pass through it but colors allows light to pass through it for suspension the particles can be seen if exposed to a light now the scattering of visible light by colloidal particle is called the Tyndall effect in the suspension also exhibit the Tyndall effect and the particles in the solutions are too small to scatter light that's why as you can see in the picture under the container with a solution the light is somewhat not can be seen scattering under container unlike with colloids and suspension next we have brownian motion it is defined as a flashes of light or scintillations which are seen when colors are studied under a microscope so this is a random zigzag motion of particles colors scintillate because the particles reflecting and scattering the light move erratically now brownian motion is a chaotic movement of colloidal particles which was first observed by the scottish botanist robert brown and now known as brownian motion this collision helped prevent the colloidal particles from setting now since you already have an understanding on my discussion for suspension and colloids let's try this explain why a mixture of sun and water can be separated by filtration but the mixture of salt and water cannot can you answer that one you can actually pause this video for a while and answer it in on your end so a mixture of sun and water is a suspension and a mixture of salt and water is a solution the particles in the sun mixture are much larger than the ions in the salt mixture and the sun particles are too large to pass through the filter paper and the ions are not now what would be the ideal condition to see a red sunset can you answer that so the answer for that is this a misty or foggy evening would be ideal for seeing a red sunset because there would be a large number of particles to scatter the sunlight great and which of the following is a colloidal system is it mud gasoline blood a mixture of sugar and water so the answer for that would be excellent that is blood which is known as a colloidal particle as mentioned in my previous examples from the previous slide so great job everyone and congratulations for the references that i have used for this video you can read in advanced cambridge chemistry third edition or go to ck12.org under physical science middle school thank you so much for watching and i hope you find this video useful Give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. You can connect with us at www.pocketpulse.org or visit us at our webs at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash pocketpulse. Since you are here already, you might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the subscribe button down below. If you have questions or inquiries regarding our organization, you can Give us a message through a line or give us a call at 0814170978. Thank you so much and have a great day everyone. I'll see you in my next screencast. Bye!